Welcome to the In Her Garden. I'm Shaquana. I hope that you're having a beautiful day today, no matter what it looks like outside, because here it's raining, right? I love the rain. Can you stand the rain? I like the rain, okay? But um, if you're not, then I hope that you begin to dig and do the work, the inner work, the soul work, because you are worth the inner work for inner growth. Now, this word is coming from my devotional time this day, this morning, actually, and I just want to help you, if you will, in encouraging you that if you're not where you, where God said that you are, right, where God said that he wants to place you but you're not where you used to be either and so you're right in the middle you're right in the thick of it if you will in transition and i hope that this encourages you and it's coming as i stated before if you haven't watched any prior videos before this one a uh, previous videos before this one i actually was talking or discussing or sharing with you about where i am in my devotions and it's in the book of numbers listen i just have to say this that time is flying by so fast because i let me see i started reading and studying the book of numbers um in the month of february and we are already in march and at the beginning of march actually so i'm almost done right so i just want to say that that by the time you look up as well Time would have been sped up or just, you know, passed so quickly. So it's important for you to stay focused. That's it. Just stay focused, right? Because by the time you look up, you'll be, you know, finish something, right? And so that's a word. And I'm going to receive it in the name of Jesus, right? Just to stay focused. But the word that came to me is the cleaning comes before the springing. The cleaning comes before the springing because in the book of Numbers, before they are crossing over into the Jordan, they have to like rest, if you will, or just take a census and an account for the people that they now have with them because they no longer have the same people. The old generation has passed on because God killed them. Okay, God let them die in the wilderness and then there was some leaders that was smelling themselves, as the old people say. Okay, you smell yourself, you think you are that. And so they came and they contended against their very leaders Moses and Aaron at that time and then it was some other leaders that rose up and I want to give you their names uh their names are hold on their names are specifically Dathan and Ibram Ibram I believe Ibram Dathan and Ibram these were two leaders um, who came against Moses and Aaron as well complaining about them not being able to eat certain things and then them being in the wilderness and that was the process that God had them go through and that may be something that you may be familiar with in your own life I know I have been and God is transitioning you from the wilderness into the very place the promise if you will that he said is yours or what have you and so into that promised land you're not quite there yet right but you're in transition you're not where you used to be and you're not where god has said you are going to be but you're in the middle of it and in the middle of it they had to take an account so that's what he was saying like taking account of everything that you have learned you have experienced and the lessons and become grateful and thankful for it because this is how you spring into it right this is how you spring forward because the cleaning comes before the springing and the thing that was highlighted the verse actually not the thing the verse that was highlighted to me was that um only two leaders was able to come out of that entire experience and it was um it wasn't Aaron and Moses because they passed too and Miriam did as well and so I just began to think about the emotional aspect that's just me y'all I that's my background as well like emotional health so when it comes to um Aaron and Moses how they had to mourn the loss of their sister and then Aaron as well and the people and Moses had to mourn the loss of their brother and their leader and then eventually Moses passed as well and passed the baton and only two people were able to go through and go forward which was Joshua and Caleb because they went out to the land to spy it or what have you and came back with a good report and with all this faith and so that's the process as well that when you go before you go into the promise of what have you it's very important for you to take an account take a census of yeah your mindset take a census take 
take an account of how you see things, how you um, engage with others or how you connect with others because that's very important as well. So it's important for you to take a census, take an account for how you are even now, who you are even now. That's very important. And it's, it's imperative during this time before you actually go into the manifestation, if you will, of everything that God has promised you and do not complain. Okay. I won't complain. Like don't complain. Okay. I won't don't complain. Okay. <laughs> do not complain. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, um, I talk about me in, in terms of me devotionally, uh, where I am and how the people of Israel, not me personally complaining, but how they were complaining is just a study and an outlook to have when you're going through that wilderness process and how it can begin to be a little bit difficult. The key is to remain grateful and be open to the new, right? They were going into something new that wasn't familiar and so they had a hard time a difficult time with going through but I believe that the Lord rewards the faithful as well and so even with you going through whatever you have been through in terms of your wilderness experiences maybe have been cold some nights yeah it may have been cold some nights he said I had some cold nights I don't know I hear that song I won't complain right and he had some tears to cry right and you had some tears to cry I've cried some tears okay the ugly cry that you have that comes from the of your soul the deep ugly cry that leaves you in a fetal position yeah those cries yeah and so that that's your wilderness experience when you when you're really trusting in the lord and you get to know him for who he is and then he's so kind he's so gracious he's so mighty he's so just wonderful right that he'll even begin to allow you when you are in those valleys he will even begin to allow you to see who you really are in his eyes right and hold that up before you in terms of no this is who you really are and this is where i'm taking you so i don't want you to just be like well you don't know where you're going it's okay at, at first it's okay he's gonna show you step by step faith it's a faith walk if you will and sometimes he's not he's just gonna ask you to take his hand and continue to lead you and guide you and you to continue to go forward but at the same time he will give you a vision he will give you a promise he will give you a word and you just step out and you go off on that word right you step out and you hold his hand and you walk with him daily and keep him near to you the word says that when you draw near to God God will draw near to you so i hope that this word uh encourages you i hope that you begin to take an account take a census of your very life begin to just write out how many things you're grateful for and even the experiences and your mindset even now um if it's different from the previous uh seasons and years in your life because you're walking into the new and you're really you're springing into it it's not a coincidence either that this is a leap year if you will and spring is on the way and then i believe on sunday you get to set your time forward right i think it's an hour ahead to spring um spring forward they say set your clocks ahead of time so you know you won't be late to anything and so don't be late okay um spring forward and whoever um uh, god has created and called you to be and i hope you do the work because you are worth the soul work and i will talk with you later